Hi there! In the previous tutorial I created a couple of placeholders. The content of these placeholders doesn't really matter as they are really only placeholders at the moment. They hold a place for future content. The content itself is going to be fed into the scene when a specific video is rendered. The placeholder's purpose is to define what happens to the content. For image layers, the resolution of the placeholder image represents the bounding box. An image that replaces the placeholder is scaled to fit fully inside it, without changing the image aspect ratio. It's always centered, and transparency is added around it if needed. Please note, a small image is scaled up, which can cause visible loss of quality. To reduce the chance of that happening, always use an image placeholder in the right size. No point having a large resolution image scaled down in After Effects. Better have a small image at 100% scale, like you can see here. Personally, I like to replace the images I used while working on the video with generic images like this one, specifically created in Photoshop before packaging the scene. For text layers, the width of the text used in the placeholder is the maximum width any new text can use up. The three dots on either side of the text layer represent the width. Shorter text remains the same font size, while font size is reduced for wider text. New lines can be created for any text placeholder layer, and the font size stays the same for all lines. You should create the text placeholder for the maximum width and largest font size you need. In this example, typing a short word with a large font size produces the best results, as it uses the available space with the largest font size. While here, a very wide placeholder that will ensure a constant font size is the right choice. In the next tutorial, I introduce IDMU Space Tools. Keep watching!